Next question is, you mentioned there about the artists taking the um, taking their music to the stage. So can you tell our audience a bit about how you envisage sort of like what you plan to do to take the future kids to the stage and what that might look like and what challenges you think there might be? Yeah, uh, I, I initially I, I I think I had two options in my in my mind. One was uh, a sort of a, a more like a musical performance, um, more more like a stage band uh, with, with various team members. But but of course you have the the practical problems. Uh, you need to have uh, more more than one band member, of course. And um, yeah, it needs to be in sync, which is for electronic music, like not not really uh, an easy thing to do. Um, I, I did some experiments with electronic with an electronic drum kit, um, but but I, I think it's just too hard to to bring that to a, a stage in um, like in a, a premature uh, premature. Um, like uh, for for your first performances so uh, after that i i was exploring uh, more like an edm kind of approach uh not really a d i wouldn't say a dj uh, set but but something that that was more um electronically orientated uh, so so more um more like a, i think you could compare to daft punk a little you know how they approach their live sets like it's it's pre it's pre organized but still you have some room for experiments um so i'm re basically i'm rearranging all my songs into one live set um and i, I and i'm adding um different elements to it i'm st i'm changing the structure so you know it's not like i'm uh just playing my songs from from the album so i'm i'm reworking them i'm i'm adding new layers i'm i'm uh i'm making sure i can tweak uh, things live on stage so that that's basically where i'm uh where i'm at at the moment amazing yeah i was gonna say it would be i think that's the way to go isn't it is not to just play your album because you could just stick on a cd essentially couldn't you or a cd or you could stream it um so to make to make those changes um have you performed before um under the future kids um or or at all have you have you got a, like a history of performance yeah i um yeah actually i do uh because i i think i mentioned this before i was a saxophone player and i played in a funeral band so uh i i've got some experience there um but uh, also, I did some live uh, shows. <laughs> I hope it's not a. <laughs> I hope it's not like a funeral this time. But um, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> no, I'm sure it won't. I, uh, no, no. Um, I I actually when I uh, did music 20 years ago, I made it like a, de a demo album, and I did some live performances. Um, like that, I, I I played with a guitar on stage, so I, I've got and I put a helmet on, but I was suffocating because in in that time people could still smoke in the in the venue, so I was kind of suffocating in my helmet. I I didn't really calculate that in. Um, so yeah, I do have some experience and and things that can go wrong, so uh, always make sure you have a backup. So yeah, I I think I think I'm ready. Yeah. I'm older now, so I I remember you saying about the saxophone. Now that 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 that, that twigs my um, my memory. Um, but yeah, the keys are with the helmets. Great, man. I couldn't see my keys. <laughs> <laughs> I think the smoking ban came in before I started performing over here in the UK, so I never had that pleasure of performing in a room full of smoke. Although you got like smoke machines, but I suppose it's, it's a bit different. 